everybody, it's Mama J. And Specter. We are here with one of our music related videos. Today's topic is going to be these awesome Iron Man pops. Um, when these came out, I know there were four of them, and I wasn't sure how quick they were going to sell out, or if we were going to pull them out of every other mystery box. Yeah. <laughs> that was my fear. So I made sure I got the two that I wanted the most, and the, the other ones are still available, so I've never run out to get them, but I really, really like these pops. Um. Iron Maiden thinks, makes me remember like back in high school and things like that. I also have this awesome figure right here. I'm going to move this box. And uh, I've had that for maybe 30 years. Maybe 30 years. Wow. Um, maybe not quite that long. I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but I, I want to say close to 30 years. You know, uh, I used to keep it in the plastic, um, but because that, <clears throat> excuse me, that wasn't taken care of really well, because back then you just threw things and stuff. Um, I have decided to take him out, but he's still a really awesome figure. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I really, really like that. So then, you know, um, I also got this great DVD set which I haven't opened yet because I'm kind of trying to save it as part of my collection. This was actually given to me from uh, Toy Rome. He won this on a giveaway and he gifted it to me. That's so cool. that was really cool to add to my collection. And then, if you guys watched our last Shoe Me video, we were a winner winner chicken dinner. Yep. And what we got is in this box. So we also want to show you that. All right, so let's see here. Yep, there we go. And what we won was the Glow in the Dark four pack of the Eddies. So that is really awesome. Um, so this is all four of them in one box. And I won this in one of the Shumi Mystery Boxes. So it's Glow in the Dark. Um, there's a little tiny spot right there, but other than that, this box is pretty mint. So this is really awesome. So, because I don't keep duplicates and I don't think a regular figure and a glow-in-the-dark figure are that big of a difference. Yeah. I've decided I'm keeping this and these are going. Okay. So these, because they're already in here, I don't need them out of here. Um, so those will, I'll remove those to make room for this. So, and then, as we do in all of our videos, we have this huge, huge bucket over here. So let's clear off the table, and we'll be right back. Okay, then we have our big bucket of trading cards. So in this big bucket, as you guys know, hold this. There is tons and tons of different trading cards, all music related. So, what we do is we're each going to draw out um, one pack or two packs this time. One pack. Okay. So, we're each going to draw. We don't know what we're going to draw. And then we'll open them and show you what's in them. Look away. I got rock cards. What'd you get? Instinct. You got instinct? Oh, that's the silly CD covers. All right. So we're each going to open these and show off what we got. All right. Put the cards. I can get a sticker. You got a sticker? I can. Oh. These, I believe, are from... I don't know if they put the year on the package. Oh, 1992. These are from 1992. That's the best before date. 
And now that's what this is what I have in here. She has but. never opened a pack of cards, clearly. Who? You. Come on. Look how you mangled your bag. I don't need that. You do that so we have the cards nice on the little table. I'm, I'm going to hold my cards. I'm going to hold my cards. No, because you have a lot more than I do. Okay. So, these cards are from different bands or things like that. But these cards are from 1992. What year are yours from? 2001. Oh, okay. So, mine are older. All right. So, my first one I have Bill Kritzenman. Kritzenman? Ooh, I'm not sure how to say that. So there's that one. And then... I don't think that's anything. Um, Your instructions. I have Megadeth, Marty. It's really awesome. Right, I have... From Sunbow. Does it say what it's a knockoff of? Puzzle 4. So I have to get more cards to figure it out. Oh. Oh, they're a puzzle. Well, that one is. Not all of them are. Oh, okay. So save that piece because we will open more. Because we will open more. You want to show that or you want me to go? It's a different. Okay. So then I have Fred from Cinderella, who I have seen in concert. Very awesome. And then on the back of these cards, they do give you facts about the person. So these these are really awesome cards. This one is the whole band Poison, who I have seen in concert. So really awesome. And the back of this one is actually a checklist so that you could check off what you get. So, you know, back, back when these <laughs> were invented, um, 92, you know, it wasn't common to have everything available on your phone. So they gave you a checklist so you could mark them off. I'm reading the back because it tells you which ones you can get mm -hmm. for the puzzle. This one's not even listed. Okay. So that's kind of... But this one is supposed to be the Dixie Chicks. Can we set that on fire? If you want. They're not uh, the Dixie the Chicks Nixon anymore. Chicks. Oh, well, I will tell you that... Oh, the Nixon Chicks, I get it. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, but they're not the Dixie Chicks anymore. They have changed their name to just the Chicks. They're not popular anymore because of the way they behaved anyways. Um, they think they're trying to, like, hang on, but, you know, it is what it is. Some people like them still. And... Uh, but yeah, they they are changing their name. But they do have some pretty cool ones. Like they have Michael Jackass, Spitney Beers. Well, you're gonna get some more. Put it down. Don't start stink. reading them. I don't all. have any more. Oh, that's it. Oh, well, what are those? Cards. Oh, should I go? Yeah. Okay, this is Winger, and this is Reb Beach from Winger. That dude looks drunk. <laughs> and I have seen Winger in concert. <laughs> Remember, I'm in California, really near to Long Beach and Hollywood. Um, then I have Junkyard. This is Chris Gates. I have not seen them. So that's really cool. And then again, like I said, there are facts on the back about each person. Keep going, I only got three left. Okay. I also have Megadeth, Nick. Um, I seen Megadeth once. Really cool. Actually, the funny thing is, when I first glanced at this picture, I thought Ninja Turtles. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> but, and then this one is Bon Jovi, David Bryan. Um, I have met him, and I have, of course, seen Bon Jovi in concert. Oh, and we have a visitor. So, <laughs> this is our visitor, Ranger. But, Ranger, you got to get down. Go on. Okay. 
There's the cat appearance. Uh, Mo Monarch Moments always says, oh, there was no cat in the video. Or, oh, there's the cat. <laughs> so there's the cat. Uh, here's David Bryan. Anyways, he was the keyboardist for Bon Jovi. And again, some facts about him on the back. This one, oh, this one is Skid Row. I did see them in concert too. Really awesome. And again, this is facts about Skid Row on the back. So these are really cool. These have like a little silver thing. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Oh, but they say 1991 on here. Oh, that's when that was printed. Oh, okay, okay. Because the, the card said 92. All right, let me go ahead and do one here. Uh, Pristina Aguilera. Pristina Aguilera. But that's the name on here. And if you go to sillycds.com, you can get your t-shirts, your signed lithographs, and uncut sheets and more. <laughs> Wonder if that website is still up. That's funny. We'll check after this and let you know. Yeah, that's kind of funny, right? Alright, um, this one is Clay from Junkyard. We had an earlier member from that band in this same pile. That's really cool. And then I have Exodus John. Um, I don't think I've ever seen them either. So that's pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and do. Oh, I actually got the Nixon Chicks card. The Nixon Chicks? Oh, and that's huh? the Dixie Chicks with Richard Nixon's face on them. That's funny. Alright, I have... Wide Open Spaces. What is it? Wide Open Spaces. That's the name of their song. Oh, Wide Open Spaces is the actual name. Tape version only. Tape version only. Alright, here is um, the Sisters of Mercy. The group card. Uh, not someone else I'm overly familiar with. Um, this one is Anthrax, Charlie. I did see Anthrax in concert once. Um, I believe with Ozzy. I think Lita Ford was there. So there's that one. You got one more? Yeah, Dr. Drake. Oh, huh. Back before, uh, Drake was a thing. Yeah. So now it's... That was supposed to be Dr. Dre. Nothing but a pee thing. <sighs> Let me wipe. Let me wipe. Oh, it has little toilet paper rolls. Oh, yeah. And a because toilet seat. All supposed to... Oh, I just got that, too. They're all supposed to be puns. So yeah. that's why they're called silly CDs. All right. This one is... Estimate? Testament? Testament. Oh, I was like, what is that there? Testament. This is Testament, and no, I have not seen them. I'm not familiar with them. But some of these are really cool. And we won't keep all these. Like, I will only keep the ones that bring back memories for me. You know. And then on those, those are, those are funny cards. Sometimes we might throw them in boxes or something. But, yeah, these are really cool. These are really cool. Especially, like, the ones that have... Um, like the full band on them. Yeah. Those are really cool. So. Yeah, I definitely like the ones with the full band. Yeah. Like the Nixon Chicks. And the Nixon Chicks. So, anyways, these were called Rock Cards. Again, from 1992. And. Mine are Silly CDs. Silly CDs. And from what year again? 2001? 2001. Yeah. Uh, you want to show the front of the package in case they're trying to find them? So. Those are pretty cool. Again, we'll keep the ones we want, you know, but we want to open tons of different ones. There are tons of different kinds of cards in that box. And at the end of each of Monday's videos, you'll see us open one or two packages each. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So we hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.